Hey everybody, I wanted to show you my homebrewing stuff that I'm about to sell and tell you about back before I was a vlogger, I went through a phase for like a year where I brewed beer. It was fun, but it's a lot of work actually to make beer, it's a lot of work. The results are worth it, but I just got out of it. I just got out of the habit of doing it. You feel like super like top of the world accomplished when you bottle a batch of beer that you've made and when you drink beer you made, it's like one of the greatest feelings in the world. But a lot goes into making the beer. Brew day basically takes all day long. You're in your kitchen, it's hot and it's boiling. Even if you have air conditioner, even with your air conditioner going, it gets hot in there and steamy. The whole house smells like grains, which is actually pretty cool. But literally all your windows will fog up, the air conditioner will be running and the steam will be going. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I got where I was like, ah, do I really feel like brewing this week? My plan was to just to make a lot of beer. If, if and, as you can, as you can, as you can see behind me, I invested quite a bit of time and effort into this hobby. Um, I had a setup where I could literally have four fermenters going at a time. So basically I could bottle, basically with this setup here, if you brew once a week, you can literally bottle five gallons of beer every week. Um, that's, that's what I was going for. But right when I got where I had that able to go, I had four fermenters fermenting, I bottled four batches of beer, and after that I was kind of like, ah. and I just didn't feel like brewing anymore. <laughs> we drank those for months. I think I did maybe 10 batches of beer in total and only once did I not like the beer. Um, and the rest of them were just fantastic, better than most of the beer you've ever had, just awesome. It's easy to make great beer, it really is. You just, you go on homebrew forums, read a little bit, and make some beer. It's hard to go wrong, it really is. As long as you sanitize everything, it's hard to go wrong. I think I have one picture from Instagram of me on bottling day, so I'll see what I can do there. So this carboy, this better bottle carboy, and those three buckets, can all be full of beer that's fermenting all at the same time. This one's a bottling bucket. You put the spigot on it and then hook up this hose and then hook up this tube and this, this bottling wand. When you push this into the bottom of a beer bottle, it has this, this action that opens a valve. This is a bottle washer. You, you put sanitizer solution down in the bottom of there, then you put the bottles upside down on it and push it down and it squirts sanitizer solution into the bottle. This is a drying racks for your bottles, so these actually stack on top of each other to let the sanitizer solution drip out while you go through the bottling process. Basically, you wanna keep your bottles almost completely wet with sanitizer the whole time. These are just bottle caps. This is a beer thief, or wine thief, but a beer thief. After you're done brewing, before it ferments, you dip it into your bucket, you get it full of beer, and then you drop this hydrometer in there and it will actually tell you how much alcohol should be in your beer when it's done. It's called measuring the gravity of the beer. This is an auto siphon. You use this when you need to siphon the beer from one spot to another. So this crazy looking thing back here is an immersion chiller. So you hook one side to tap water and one side to a drain. Just down your sink is fine. And then you put all this copper part in there and shoot cold water through it and it cools off your beer. You have to get your beer to the, just the right temperature when you add the yeast is the deal. So that immersion chiller will get your beer to the right temperature. So all in all, I'd say I probably spent about 400 bucks on this stuff. Um, and then ingredients to brew. Here's the deal. I think I spent about 400 bucks on this stuff and 400 bucks on ingredients to brew. So about $800 on beer, guys. So I'm gonna sell all this stuff. I'm just now starting the process of selling my belongings. Um, moving toward traveling, but it'll be nice just to get this stuff out. It's been over a year since I last brewed. And let me tell you, once you have the $400 set up, it costs somewhere between $30 and $50 every time you wanna make beer. Uh, and when you do, you make five gallons of beer. So it's absolutely worth it. But when you add it all up, the amount of beer I made, it sounds like a lot of money for the amount of beer I got. But I mean, I got 50 gallons. 50 gallons of beer, $800. It sounds like so much when I say it out loud, but it went over the, over periods of months. Like I just ordered some supplies, I'd order some ingredients. Um, it didn't feel like it didn't feel like I was spending a lot at the time, but you know that's kind of how it goes with sometimes with your hobbies. It adds up, and you don't really realize it because it's just a little bit here and there. And then 
when you look back at it, like today's the first time I've ever analyzed how much I spent brewing. 800 might be a little bit overkill, maybe more like 700, but I did get 50 gallons of fantastic beer out of the deal. So yeah, somebody's gonna get all this for 300 bucks and I'm gonna throw in like 50 bucks worth of ingredients. So anyway, today that's what I'm doing and this marks the starting point of me actually selling my things. We're planning on hitting the road hopefully next spring, but even if that got postponed or something like that, I still needed to sell this stuff. I mean, it's just sitting in a closet, taking up space that, here's the deal. I could probably clean that closet out enough to put my vacuum cleaner in there, but instead I have electronics engineering stuff and brewing stuff in there, so. The electronics engineering stuff's a little bit harder for me to part with, but I'm planning on parting with it. But I built guitar pedals for years and years. I, I sold them to people. I built them for myself. I built guitar amps. Um, I have a half finished guitar amp. That's a project. I'm just going to sell it as a project. When somebody finishes it, it's going to be an awesome guitar amp. But anyway, all I'm saying is I'm selling some of my hobbies that I don't do very often. I'm not going to sell my soldering iron until the last minute. That's something that I always use. When I eventually get around to selling some of my guitars, I'll put all the original stuff back in them, so I'll need that soldering iron. But I'm not, I'm not selling my electronic stuff today anyway, just working on the brewing stuff. First, one step forward, you know? And that's a big one. I'll show you the closet space it cleared out. This area down there where Clue is at, as well as this whole space right here, top off that space usage then we had this brew pot or you call it a stock pot we had this stock pot under the cabinet in our kitchen so taking up a lot of Amanda will be really happy to see that go I think you know what she's gonna say she's gonna say she wanted to steam something or boil crawfish in it but that's way more than me and her would ever use I'm gonna go edit today's video now and I'll see you guys in a little while As you can. Adoken. As you can. Adoken. As you can.